Today we'll look at the bubble sort algorithm, which sorts an array of numbers. So we have a while loop for each pass, and initially the swap flag is set to true, and in the first pass it's set to false, and then a for loop iterates through the numbers in the array. So in the first iteration, i equals 2, the number at index 2 in the array is compared to the previous number in the array. And because 5 is greater than 4, then these numbers get swapped. And the swap flag is set to true. And then in the next iteration, the number at index 3 gets compared with the previous number. And 5 is greater than 3, so these numbers get swapped. And this keeps going on until i is equal to n, which is 5 in the first pass. So effectively, four comparisons are made in the first pass, and we can see that four swaps also occurred. And n gets decremented from 5 to 4, so that in the next pass, we only compare the first four numbers. And note that the next pass occurs because the number was swapped in the previous pass. Otherwise, the algorithm would end. So starting off with the list that we obtained from the first pass, and then following the same process, you'll get three comparisons and three swaps. And then in the third pass, the first three numbers are compared. So you get two comparisons and two swaps. And then in the next pass, you'd get one comparison and one swap. And in the next pass, you'll get no comparison. And zero swaps. So the algorithm terminates. And here we looked at the worst case, where the numbers were given in reverse order. So therefore, in the first pass, we obtained n minus 1 comparisons and n minus 1 swaps. And similarly in the second pass, we get n minus 2 comparisons and n minus 2 swaps. And that keeps going on down to one comparison and one swap, where we ignored the zero in the final pass. And if you look at a normal case, you won't get as many swaps. So we use the comparisons to determine the order of the algorithm. So therefore, the number of comparisons is n minus 1 plus n minus 2, and so on, plus 2 plus 1. And this is an arithmetic series which has a sum being the number of terms on 2 multiplied by the value of the first term and the last term. So for our bubble sort arithmetic series, we have n minus 1 terms on 2, and the first term is n minus 1, plus the final term, which is 1. And these cancel, so we obtain n by n minus 1 on 2 comparisons. And if you expand this, we get n squared on 2, minus n on 2, and given the fastest growing term, the algorithm has a time complexity o n squared. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help me reach more students.